Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in for another Entertaining Friday. My name is Santos Martinez, and as you can see, we are finally doing it, a Draw My Life video. So, <clears throat> well, here we go. We're going to get started. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and as you can see, I'm going to talk about Japan as well. So I figured we'd go back to when I, where I was born. So I was born in New York. I was born in upstate New York um, in a town called Newark, which is close to Rochester. I had family both in Rochester and Newark. And um, I lived um, in a nuclear household, so it was my dad, my mom, myself, and of course my sister. She is younger, two years younger than me. And we lived together for about three years before my dad left the picture. And my mom found a new boyfriend, and um, he lived with us for about two or three years until my mom she couldn't take care of us anymore so we me and my sister hopped on an airplane and we flew out to live in New Jersey so yes we lived in New Jersey for about four years we lived in a little city called Elizabeth which was about an hour away from New York City we could actually see the city from where we were where we stayed and down in Elizabeth we actually stayed with my dad's parents so my grandparents it was me my sis and then my grandparents and um <clears throat> when we were living with them we lived with them for about four years we moved a lot we moved about three or four times and one of the places that i remember the most was that we had moved into a nun's convent which was part of the church that we used to visit every sunday and uh yeah that was our home <laughs> that's where we used to live and uh it was memorable because i don't think anybody's that i know of has ever lived in a nun's convent it was empty so that's the reason why we lived there um, and I believe it was rent free. And every Sunday we would have to, um, or not even every Sunday, during the week we would have to be there at cleaning. And I drew a picture of me and my sister inside the nun's convent because we weren't allowed to go play with other kids. <clears throat> and I remember my friends always asking me, how come you guys can't play with us? And it was, we just couldn't do it. And it's probably why I'm so introverted today that I like to be indoors more than outdoors. Just because growing up I never got to go hang out with friends and stuff. And during the time when we were with our grandparents, uh, my mom, she actually uh, got cancer. She was very sick. Um, she had cervical cancer. And um, this was the first, I remember this was the first time that I heard, heard heard about cancer. And I just saw all these wires hooked up to her and like all these machines. And I just didn't know what was going on. It was, and it was, it was a very scary time because, you know, we, we weren't living with her. <clears throat> but luckily, <clears throat> um, she actually um, got better. And um, she got a full uh, bill of health, clean bill of health, and um, and we were happy about that. We were so excited. She was finally better. We were still living with our grandparents at the time, but um, after she had gotten better, it was about two or three years. Two or three years later, we were. My, my, I think it was about twelve. My sister was about eight, and she was like, "You guys are coming back with me to New York," and we were like, "Yay!" So we hopped in a car. And we drove, it was about an eight hour trip from New Jersey back to New York where we were staying. We moved up um, towards Western New York, which is where we are today. And uh, my mom was still with um, her boyfriend that she had had be right before we left to New Jersey. And so it was the four of us. We lived together. Finally, after moving so many times, my sister and I, we were finally stable for like 10 years. So high school passes, everything's fine. It's when I learned that I love video editing or making videos and stuff. And so I had this passion to go to Japan. So I actually got the opportunity to go visit Japan because my cousin was stationed in Okinawa. In 2009, I flew out there and I stayed there for the summer. <clears throat> and um, I remember this was the first time I actually ever got to do anything solo. And it was so exciting. I remember getting off the airplane and then looking all around me and there was like all of these billboards and they were all in Japanese and there was so many lights everywhere and it was it was so it was it was a culture shock for sure. I was like, "Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get around in this area being alone?" But I finally figured out how to get to my cousin's house and um I remember the first thing that I tried when I was there was of course sushi. I remember it was because I had got there at night, so the next day I actually went to go try sushi with one of my friends that was stationed in Okinawa as well, which was actually very convenient that um, he um, he was stationed there, and so I got to visit him as well as my cousin, and he took me to this um, this sushi this little sushi bar, and uh, what was, I, what I remember about it was that um, 
we had squid. That was the first time we were trying raw squid, and I was like, oh, this is a little different. Um, and yeah, that was so exciting. So one of my most memorable things was actually going zip lining in Japan. Um, I went with my little cousin. He was like seven or eight years old, so my cousin's son, so I still call him my second cousin. And um, it was me, my my friend, and my little cousin, we got to go zip lining on the actual base where my cousin was stationed. They had like a little um, zip lining thing. It was like a training course or whatever. And yes, it was so much fun. I want to, definitely want to do it again someday. And while I was in Japan, I got to finally start making my YouTube videos. It, this was the reason why I started making YouTube videos was because I wanted to videotape my trip to Japan because I didn't know if I would ever go back. And so one of the videos that I did was a driving. This was um, this was definitely illegal. My cousin she let me drive her car, and um, you can go actually go check it out if you want to. I'll put the link here. Just click on the little um, card. And, um, so yes, it was so much fun. I remember when I came back, I was so happy and like, cause I had my passport with me and in my passport, there was a stamp for Japan and that was so exciting. And this is when my passion for vlogging really, really started and for, for video edit, for video, doing anything video. And so I got into university and, um, at university, of course, the first thing that I wanted to study when I was there was everything Japanese. So I remember taking a um, Japanese course, um, um, and I was just like, "Ooh, this is this is interesting. This is fun." But after a while, I was just like, "You know what? I don't know if this is for me." So and then I switched over to uh, taking Spanish, and because I knew I loved languages, and this is this is when I really realized that I loved. Uh, anything um, to do with traveling and anything to do with different countries and so that was my focus was languages and university and I remember my one Spanish teacher after um, after her class um, she had mentioned how great I was at um, my Spanish I mean I had grew up growing up before speaking Spanish but um, she re was really impressed with my grammar with my writing with everything and so she asked me she was like do you want to be the new Spanish teacher and I said of course yes I want to do it so um, she gave me the opportunity to um, to be her her, her uh, assistant um, in Spanish so uh, she sent me all her students um, after class and they would come with, come to me and I would help them with homework we would do we would make tests together we would um, you know practice just speaking in Spanish we would do like cultural exchanges and I did that for about two years and that it was something that I definitely did love to do and um, during this time I um, also got the opportunity to uh, study abroad with 10 other people or nine other people it was 10 of us all together we uh, studied abroad in spain when i was in college and this is all 10 of them hey little you guys if you guys are watching this it was a wonderful trip this was i think my second year after i had um been tutoring it was either the second year in the year yeah yeah it was two years um so that was so much fun and I remember when I was in Spain the thing that I wanted to do the most was to go see a um, actual live flamenco it was something that my grandmother really wanted um, me to see my grandmother from my maternal side and so I fulfilled her wish by getting to go see a live flamenco show in Spain and this is of course us watching the show from the sidelines the ten of us and I try to draw the whole audience too so that was an amazing trip and, and you saw the video of my trip in Spain and then finally last year I graduated from college so excited to have gotten my degree and here I am just drawing in everybody staring up at the stage I actually try to draw um, the two other people I was with during graduation the three of us had gone to Spain together so we had formed a really close bond it was the three of us had actually went to a different university so there was three of us from a certain university and then the other seven were from a different university so the three of us stayed together um after spain we were like hanging out for the whole year and so of course here's me with getting my diploma i'm sorry about my drawing skills are not up to par and I don't know why here I put graduate 2017 when I actually graduated in 2016 but just bear with me here and as you can see, yeah, there we go, I changed it to 2016. 
So after graduation, I decided, man, well, what, what do I want to do next? And, you know, I thought I was going to actually go back to Spain. And maybe one day I will to go do that. But um, I actually found a job locally in my, um, where I live now, the city that I'm in. Um, and I work for a medical, medical de- um Organization. It's a nonprofit that actually um, supports specifically the LGBT community, but it also supports um, other communities as well. And I work there during the week, and during the weekends, I work at um, a party supply store. I'm sure you guys know which one that is. And um, so that's yeah. So I'm very, very always busy recently. But um, as you can see recently, after being away from YouTube for a while, I've definitely started making YouTube videos again. So yes, this is my third job, is YouTube videos, and I kind of want to continue doing this because it's something that I'm very, very passionate about, and I'm glad you guys can be on this journey along with me as I'm making these YouTube videos. Because in the future, I'm dreaming, and I'm dreaming that um, one day I can be a film director, or uh, a video editor or something to do in filmmaking that's that's my dream in the future and you can see there's this, that's me pretending like i'm making my own film and hollywood here i come i want to move to la one day yes i will so i'll see you guys there and that's it for my draw my life thanks for guys for watching and remember to always stay positive thanks guys hashtag spreading the love see you guys next week peace out